21st September. What is special about this date, you ask? Well, the date is very special because since 1994, World Alzheimer's Day has been celebrated across the globe on 21st September. Time for little history. An organization named Alzheimer's Disease International was founded back in 1984 to provide treatment and support to the Alzheimer's patients across the globe. Now, in 1994, World Alzheimer's Day was introduced in Edinburgh to commemorate 10 years of Alzheimer's Disease International. National Institute on Aging describes the disease as a brain disorder that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills and eventually the ability to carry out the simplest tasks. It also says that in most people with the disease, those with the late onset type symptoms first appear in their mid-60s, whereas early onset Alzheimer's occurs between a person's 30s and mid-60s and is very rare. Even according to NHS UK, the disease is most common in people over the age of 65. However, in a first and a very rare case, earlier this year, a boy just 19 years old from China was diagnosed with probable Alzheimer's disease after facing severe memory problems since the age of 70. The boy started finding it difficult to concentrate on his studies when he was just 17 years old. When he turned 18, he went through a short-term memory loss which became severe with time that he had to drop out of his school. A study on this rare case has been published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. Now, with the world witnessing an alarming increase in the cases of Alzheimer's and its first ever youngest case as well being reported, let's take a look at how effective are medications for the disease. Currently, there is no cure for the disease but according to NHS UK, there are medicines available that can temporarily reduce the symptoms. But what is being considered as a breakthrough? In the world of health, a new drug called Dona Nemab has been hailed as the turning point in the fight against Alzheimer's following trials that confirmed it slows down cognitive decline if treated early. Not just that, in another breakthrough, a study in a mouse model has shown that intermittent fasting or time-restricted eating may benefit those experiencing symptoms of Alzheimer's disease.